Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I've just come back from Skyrim, and um, I've just cleared out our inventory and everything. I was quite surprised that you can actually just go back to Skyrim. There's no real barrier against it. You have to pay the blokey um, 250 gold, but that's it. However, I have just come back, and I was about to get back to the original location and start recording, but we have a dragon attack. So, let's deal with that. Oh, uh, we also leveled up because I did some um, smithing, I did some brewing. brewing, and I did some enchanting. Enchanting. Unfortunately, we still don't have a shock spell, so we still can't make shock uh, items, but we will. Okay. Right, where are you going to attack, you goit? I can't believe that these dragons are in here as well. Oh, wow, we're destroying this. Oh, bugger. Yeah, I was so sure that I actually had a um, uh, the right spell. I may have accidentally disabled or disenchanted our bow. Okay. Yeah, we don't have a bow. Well, that's an ass. Okay. Well, we're just going to have to try and cook it then. Come here. Oi. Oi. Get over here, stupid dragon. Get over here. Where's he gone? Can you sit your ass down? There you go. That's oh, what shit. we wanted. Well. Yeah, well. <laughs> well. The dragon won. The dragon won by default. <laughs> Bugger. You can't. Ah, and we're here. Sigh. Actually, before we do anything, let's grab our level. Um, we shall put it in. Put it in health. And we need to start sorting out our enchanting. Let's get one of them. Because we want to make powerful um, enchantments. Okay. Let's go back to Soul Steam. There we go. <laughs> Recklings may be small in stature, but they attack in swarms and can be fearsome. Yes, they can. I wonder if the dragon's going to be here. Well, it's not quite a dragon. And we're in the water. God damn it. There we go. Any sign of dragon activity? Oh, well, that sucks. We tried. Take a green apple, a carrot, and a potato. Wow. Was there really any need for all of that um, earned space there? Now, let's go see if we can find by... Find my pickaxe yet? Uh, yeah, no. No, not yet, buddy. Um... There you go. The finest weapons and armor. Good, good, good. Glad to hear it. I would like... Oh, what's that? Creatures and people up to 13 flee. That sucks. I hate flee. Yeah, we don't want enemies to run away. Dwarven short sword of flames. That sounds pretty good. I don't like the look of dwarven weaponry in this game, though. Um... 18 stamina damage. No. No, we'll hold out. Oh, yes. Gauntlets. We'll take gauntlets for Lydia. Ooh. That's interesting. Chitin armor. Hmm. That looks quite cool, actually. Dwarven braces of smithing. Yeah, that will do for now. You tell Crushes he better give that pickaxe back to me. All right, I'm doing it. Um, I need to sort How some can I things. Serve you, my thane? Uh, right, you can now have a complete set of armor. You can thank me later. <laughs> you can have the shield, actually, just in case, and you can have gauntlets. You lead, I'll follow. Is she not using her gauntlets? Hmm. Right this you. happens sometimes, and I can't can remember I why. You, um, what's she got on her? 
I wonder why she's not using that. Imperial light helmet. I'll take that, that, that. Ah, right. Two-handed attacks do 15% more damage. Um... Oh, you know what? I'm going to take those. And you can wear that. Just that way you match. There we go. The 15% extra damage she would do really isn't worth that much anyway. Now, let's... Continue on our quest to find Matey Boy's pickaxe. Because we need that pickaxe. With that pickaxe, we can mine the stuff. <laughs> that stuff. we need. Yes. The magical ice that we need. Right. So, let's go. Dragonborn. Investigate. Search for... Time of need. Miscellaneous. That's what we want. Let's get rid of that. So where is this goit? Are we not going to get a quest marker for this? Ah, we actually have to find this guy. That's kind of a pain. Is he going to tell us where he is? Showered in sparks. Or you're Perfect. I There's was another just drink thinking for you. about heading over for a trip. Um, Thanks for saving me the trip. It's the only tool tough enough to crack Stallrim, is what it is. Yes, but Not where many is your of those friend? Beauties left in the world. Forge the one Crescious borrowed came from the Skull Village up north. I uh, traded them some goods for it. So where is this Crescious, guy? Ah, he's up here. Apparently, with our magical um, sensing abilities of magic. Yes, yes, yes. Them. We should. Oh, he's in the mines. Of course he's in the mines. Where do you think he would be? In the mines. Of course. I guess, why would he want a pickaxe if he wasn't going to go to the mines? We may never know. Uh, oh, hello. East Empire Company. Can we? That looks smashable. I said to leave me be. Precious, last time you explored the mine, you almost fell to your death. I'm not spending the rest of my days as a widow. And She's got I'm a point. You that I'll do whatever it takes to find my great grandfather's remains. He's down here. I can feel it. Really? That was almost two centuries ago. There may be nothing left to find. Just let me go, woman. Precious, you're an obstinate old fool, and you're going to get yourself killed. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? My apologies for Cretius's ravings. Uh, try the drink. That sounds lovely. Thank you. No problem. Uh, what were you arguing about? That foolish old man thinks he's thirty years younger than he is. <laughs> he's going to get himself killed traipsing around the mine. Okay. Why is he exploring the mine? He's convinced himself that there's some sort of conspiracy involving the East Empire Company and the mine's closure. Could be. He came across some old letters that belonged to his great grandfather in our house. I see. He believes every word written in them. Indeed. What did the letters say? His great grandfather worked for the East Empire Company. The letters mention some sort of discovery he was sent to investigate. Interesting. There's really, nothing remarkable in the letters. I don't know what he's so excited about. Maybe you're a fool. Maybe he's a fool. We are going to get to the bottom of this. Who was Grecia's great grandfather? Gratian Corellius. Okay. He was an explorer for the East Empire Company. I see. They sent him all over Tamriel when they had difficulties in a mining operation. Uh huh. Poor man. Can you imagine doing all that dangerous work just to end up dying at your own doorstep? Yes. What happened to him? It was a horrible accident, and he I was see. killed when one of the tunnels collapsed. Hmm. They were never even able to go down there and recover the body. The East Empire Company sealed that section off to prevent any more tragedies. Damn. Precious is convinced it's a story cooked up by the company to cover up something else, but I don't know. It's possible. Why don't you agree with uh, Cretius? My beloved is almost 80 years old, and I think the shock of finding one of his ancestors' things has left his mind a bit confused. Hmm. I love him dearly, and I support everything he does. But I can't let him chase this silly idea, or he may end up joining Gratian in a rocky grave. 
You do have a point. I think so, but from where? I can't recall. Try to remember. It's difficult. Something about it doesn't feel right. Uh, a temple here on the island. That's all I can recall. I see. I'd like to train in restoration. Yes, I'll I let will. Me share my knowledge with you. Thank you. Um, let's train. Now, this is one thing that um, Morrowind did quite well as well. Um, in Oblivion and Skyrim, obviously, you can only train five times per level. In Morrowind, as long as you had the gold, you could train as many levels as you as you wanted. So let's anyway train Restoration, because that is a very handy skill. Is that going to push us over the edge? Not quite. In fact, if we level up, I might go back to her and get another. Because to, to go go up ten matter, levels of uh, restoration would be pretty badass. Precious is a third generation miner. All okay. his life, he's lived and breathed nothing else. By the time Cretius came of age, the ebony mine in Raven Rock was shut down. He took that quite hard. Yes, I bet. Why didn't he move somewhere else to find work? Our home has been in his family for over 200 years. Leaving would have been like abandoning precious memories. I guess. Instead, he stayed on Soul's time and spent most of his life prospecting for a new ebony source. Okay. Sadly, it never surfaced. A decade ago, this drove him into a deep depression. He shut himself inside his home and refused to come out. Damn. Depression ain't no joke. This is where... Oh, this is where you met? was. After refusing to allow anyone to bring him food, Counselor Morvane ordered his door to be knocked down before Cretius starved to death. Okay. I was a temple priest at the time, and they had me use my healing arts to restore strength to his ailing body. I stayed for a while and cared for him. Then, I suppose we fell in love. Uh-huh. You're a priest at the temple? Far from it. In fact, I'm no longer welcome there. Oh, why? In all honesty, it came down to a disagreement between what I believe and what Elder Othra uh -huh. believes. I'd prefer not to get into the details, but let's just say our opinions about the current status of the Tribunal vary widely. I see. Fair dues. Be now let's talk to this guy. Who in the blazes are you? Can't you see I'm busy? Uh, I guess. My apologies for Cretius's ravings. Busy doing what? Why should I tell you? I don't even know who you are. Oh, old man, settle down before you hurt yourself. Perhaps I could help. Hmm. Maybe. Been difficult trusting people lately. They think I'm crazy. I see. But mark my words. These mines hold a secret that could put Raven Rock back on the map. Well, I'm here to help. What sort of secret would be hidden here? A secret the East Empire Company swept under the rug two centuries ago. Consider me intrigued. My great grandfather, and left Raven Rock with a worthless and tainted mine. Mm-hmm. Who was your great grandfather? Gratian Kyrelius. He spent his entire life exploring ancient ruins across Tamriel, and he died in these very mines almost two hundred years ago. I see. How did he die? The East Empire Company called it a terrible accident, claiming that he was lost in a rockfall. But I know better. What's your proof? My wife and I were cleaning out our home, and we came across some of my great-grandfather's things locked in an old chest. I found an unsent letter he'd written to the East Empire Company, and a key. Ooh. What did the letter it say? It describes a discovery that was made in the mine by some of the diggers. They wanted Gratian to take a closer look. The East Empire Company must have felt it was of great value, as they locked that section of the mine off from everyone else. Interesting. The key is to the lock section. It is. Well, I assume it is. Mm. I haven't been able to find the entrance. Okay. This is hardly proof of anything. Now you're starting to sound like everyone else. Mm. I'm telling you, there's something big down there. Something that the East Empire Company wanted to hide from everyone. Okay. 
Why are you telling me all of this? Uh, pretty sure we just asked him about it, but okay. Look, my wife nags that I'm too old to go traipsing around these mines chasing my story. <laughs> Time's my enemy. It's caught up with me before I could find the answers that I'm looking for. Yes, time is all of our enemy. So, you need my help. I do. I want to know what happened to Gratian. And what the East Empire Company is keeping from all of us. I do too. Any idea where to start? Gratian kept a journal of notes about his discoveries. If you can find his remains, I'm hoping it will help. Okay. Here's everything I have. The letter, the key. Please, do this for me. I can finally regain the respect that I've lost. Okay, old man. I will do this thing to you. Have a drink. <laughs> Begging for patrons again, eh? Well, I suppose I could have just a bit. <laughs> um, are you sure Gretchen's death wasn't an accident? Look, I know I don't have much to go on. I have that unsent letter, and that's really it. But right. I also have a miner's instinct that's run in my family from before Gratian was even born. Yeah. I may sound like a crazy old man to you, but I'm telling you, the tunnels here are solid. They would never collapse like that. Why were you arguing? Oh. He thinks that old age has addled my mind, that I'm seeing things when there's nothing to be seen. I realize she cares about me, but she has to understand that I can't rest until I find out what happened to Gratian. What if she's right and I can't find anything? Then I'll settle down peacefully and never set foot in this mine again. It's a deal. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Even before I discovered Gratian's old things. I just hope both of you don't mistake my enthusiasm for insanity. I don't think you're insane. Glover wants his ancient Nordi yeah, Nordic pickaxe back. The damn fool doesn't even deserve to have it. The pickaxe was made for mining, not selling. You're I'll bet probably he right. Stole it from the skull in the first place. Uh, doesn't belong to you. Oh, very well. Here, tell him I hope he drops a thing on his foot. <laughs> right. Do you know someone called Midrak? I recognise the name, but I don't know how I know it. It sounds so familiar. Hmm. Tell me anything you can. It's so strange. I feel like it's from a dream. Something about the earth stone and a shrine. That's it. That's all I can think of. Okay, interesting. Right. Be careful down there. The mine can be. The mine can be what? I'll take your gold and your leather strips. Okay. Come on, Lydia. We have adventure. Ah, uh, pickaxe, we don't need that. She looks like a mess with that armor on. <laughs> a mess. She a mess you up? Jesus, <laughs> look at her. Wow. She's your wife. Uh, she's not my wife yet. Try the lower of the she will be. The surprise. <laughs> the surprise. Okay, buddy. Right. Let's give it one of these F5s. Now. I'm curious to what we can find down here. Yeah, I'm certain I haven't actually done this uh, expansion pack before. I don't remember any of this. Yeah, well, what's in the sack? The sack! The sack! Carrots, garlic, and mud crab chicken. Probably well old and out of date. Oh, <laughs> monsters! Ha! Burn. Um. I. Hope he went somewhere good. Ooh, and spiders. Empty barrel. Alright, let's go cook a spider. Could use some more frost. Ooh. He didn't have a lot of fight in him. Frostbite venom. Okay, what's in here? Now I'm hoping that we're going to find. Oh, hello. Come on, you. Nice lick of flame. Do you good. There you go. Mellow you right out. Ow. You've been poisoned. Well, oh, well done, Lydia. And yes, she is actually using those um, spears as her weapon. That's okay. I am expecting to find ore in here, but I don't know how much. 
Considering this place is supposed to have been mined out. Uh, I could take the pickaxes because we can melt them down into three iron ingots. Which seems like a lot of iron ingots for a pickaxe. But there we go. Um, right, come on Lydia. Let's keep pushing. Uh, oh, hello. I don't mind spiders. I was expecting undead for some reason. But uh, we haven't really seen a lot of spiders. And we've leveled. Right, let's grab our level. Let's go for... Let's go for some magic. And we will go for... Smithing probably would be a good thing. Um, that is a very good thing. Um, dwarven smithing? Nah. No, I think we should get more enchanting. Uh, enchanting? Yeah. There we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. I forgot about that. Okay. Need to keep your eye out for gas. Ah, that spider. Must have been huffing the gas pretty hard. Okay. Okay, all clear so far. What about down there? Ah. So yeah, I know certain areas can be opened up. Oh, we don't want a bucket. Ah. Really? This is as far as he's been. Alright, actually, what I'm going to do... I actually have a potion for this that I made earlier. I think... Yeah, 20% easier lockpicking for a minute. Now, hopefully it's going to help us. I was going to say, it almost seems like a waste, but not an expert lock. It could be worse, could be a master. Bugger. Now, where was that? It was around... Ooh. Come on. There we go. Surprisingly easy. Amethyst. Gold. Potion of plentiful healing. And another East Empire pendant. We have a couple of those now. Now, I'm not sure what to do about Matey Boy's pickaxe. Because um, we kind of need it. But, I wonder if he'll sell it to us. Because we're not exactly poor. I am really curious see what's down here. Let's give it a save. Just because there could be any bloody thing. Oh. Ah. So was it this that everyone was scared of? These Drugars? Or Dra... I don't really know how to say all these weird... Nordic... Yeah, the, these Drugars. Yeah, them. Okay, so let's go some more flames. Alright, Lydia. Calm down. Burn, you sack of rotten shite. Almost. Oh, we need more magicka. Okay. Sword time it is. Just a little more. Right, what you got for me? A supple Nordic bow. We'll take it. Bone mill, yeah. That too. Ah, yeah, well done, Lydia. Did she kill that one too? I guess she must have done. Okay, well. So that's the way we came. We're almost at the point where we need another healing spell. Our one seems to be getting a little out of date now. But that's okay. I actually think this is kind of the best healing spell in the game. Uh, the other ones... Ooh, I kind of knew that was there because we saw it going off earlier. But I still walked into it. The other healing spells don't give constant healing. Um, 
Well, Lydia, you got no one to blame but yourself. You saw me walk into it, then you walked into it yourself. Right, let's go for... Banded Iron Armour. That ain't a good... Ooh. Hey, buddy. Come to die. Welcome to die. Ow. Yep, yup. Ow. A bit stronger than I was thinking you might be. Let's heal. Come on, Lydia. Oh, God, they're coming from there, too. Well, you shouldn't be too bad. Sit down. I wonder what the hell this place is. This seems... Ah... Oh, it's because she was shooting it, wasn't it? At least I hope. It's possible there's some of those gits down here somewhere. Come on. Yes, there we go. And you know what I'd forgotten to do, which seems really stupid? If you hold the button down, you do a strong attack. I'd forgotten about that. Okay. Oh, God. Right, we're almost actually out of time, but it looks like I may have to pause in a second. As people are starting to come home from work. But that's okay. We've only got less than three minutes left. Oh, God, what the hell is that? What the hell? Someone? Hide boots. Any of you suckers? Yeah, I thought one of you would get up. Come on. A little bit more for you. Wow, he's pretty energetic for an old man. Let's, um, let's go. Yep, no need to stand around here. Oh, there's gits behind us too. I mean, of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Hmm. Well, we've got lots of food. Which is kind of handy. Cabbage, potato, carrots. Yes, can't beat the carrots. Right, run. Now, unfortunately, Lydia's going to have to stay behind and hopefully <laughs> aggro them. Oh, God. Or, or not, you know, that that's fine too. Oh, big bollocks. There's a big bollocks. Yeah, she probably died a while ago. Run. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Go around that weapon. Ooh, maybe not. Hopefully, they will also uh, fall into that trap. Oh, boy. Well. I really wish I'd brought that bow now. Seems like an obvious thing to bring with you. Hey, buddy. Hello. And he would have to be a right as well. That's okay. Should just be able to handle him. But he has a friend now. Which makes things a little bit more awkward. Can you tread on that button please? Ooh, yes. Well, you trod on it. But unfortunately, I was standing in the way. You're smarter than I gave you credit for. Or did I tread on it? I think it must have been me, yeah. But I'm dumber than I gave myself credit for. Ow. Ugh. Come on. Sit down. You ugly. Ooh, I have a spell for that. Or a potion for that. Resist frost. There we go. 21%. I'm not going to set the world on fire, but it will do. Heavy armor's increased. Nice. Need some. Oh god, the whole bloody family's in now. Heal. Heal. Okay. Well, this is. Yes, 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 no. How. Who the hell are you pointing at? And why am I going backwards? And we're at stamina. Thus is the problem of not having a large stamina bar. <sighs> When an undead creature has more stamina than you, you know you've screwed up somewhere. Right. There we go. At least we're getting a lot of restoration. I think we won. 
I think we won. Ah, oh, hello, Lydia. You are uh, you grateful now for that uh, hard ass armor? Right, and we're on thirty minutes now, almost. So let's just go into that main chamber. Make sure everything's dead. At least sufficiently dead. And then, I guess, I may have to end the video. Not that I want to. I'm having too much fun playing this game. Um, okay. Lydia, that is some fetching. It almost looks like the glass armor out of Morrowind. But, um... Not really. <laughs> yeah, kind of, but not. Yep. There. Kind of, but not. Ooh, a master lock. Um, well, that was off to a good start. Um, yep. Okay. Come on. Give me a clue, game. Uh-oh. Good thing I have a lot of these. Ooh. Come on, game. Surrender me your secrets. There could be anything in this. Probably nothing. Uh, this could take some time. Oh, oh, oh! Bit of bit of movement. That's right there. Careful. Okay. So it's about there. No, I guess not. Try that little pixel there. Nope. God damn it. About there. Nope. Was it a little bit further over? I think so. Let's try that. Nope. Okay. Damn it. Well, at least we're going to get some lockpick levels. Where was it biting? I'm sure it was further. What about that? Ah, right, okay. So. It's kind of over here somewhere. Come on. No. Let's try a little bit higher. Something like that. <gasps> no. <laughs> but we're almost there. We're in the right. Try. Maybe. Oh, nope. Okay. So. We must have literally been about a pixel out. Shit. Come on. Come on, lock. Don't make me sing to you. Damn it. It's not going to happen, lock. Careful. Damn. This is a bit of a bastard. There better be untold riches in here. I bet there won't be. Damn it. Son of a bitch. And there's a rabbit about. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Okay. I won't make you watch any more of this. Um, so I'm going to end it here. Uh, as we've run out of time again. But uh, when we come back... We're going to find out what's actually in here. I'm going to pick this lock now, and uh, I'll start the recording back when I've opened the chest. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I have. And I'm looking forward to seeing what's actually going on down here. So, till next time, guys.